Okay, this is uh, my uh, Xbox powered arcade cab, and I'm going to show you how to um, remap the controllers in case you wanted to do that. Uh, so, in order to do it, first thing, this is running premium on Xbox or Ninja. So, you hit the right thumbstick, you push it in, that's a button. And then, if you go all the way down to the bottom, selection. Uh, it should say games allow key mapping. You need to select that, and that you either select it or deselect it with the A button, right? So I'm so selected now, All right? So make sure that's selected, otherwise you won't be able to do this. And then I'm going to use Robotron as uh, the first example on how to how to um, how to remap. So Robotron in the arcade had two joystick game. The left joystick controls your person, moves them around and the right joystick would fire. So you could fire, you know, eight different directions with your right joystick. And then um, you just move with the left joystick, which is a really cool game. Uh, but you need to remap it if you want to play it on, a, on an arcade like this or if you want to change it. Because if you were just playing on your Xbox controller, you have two joysticks, it's easy. Here, this is one pad hack and this is another pad hack. So you need to change that. So if, if you go into the game, so if I just, credit it up and then start it you can move but you're not you're not firing right all right so in order to remap the controller you hit the uh, black button and the one player button I think Let's see. No, the back of the white so the coin button and the white button there and that gets you access to this. So it, one of the options is remap this game. So you can, I usually like to do it with another controller, right? I put another controller into the Xbox. This is in port four. That way I have these are for what I'm actually the input. So I'll go down to remap this game and then hit A, right? So the left stick works fine. It's uh, the right stick, right? That is the problem. So I'll go down to player one right up Right, so then I'll hit the A button and then I'll push that joystick up, right? And then just wait a second or two and then I'll go down, right down, right? And then I'll hit the A button and then I'll push what I want it to be. I'll push that joystick down, whatever I want to map it to, right? And then I'll go down to the left and right just to finish it out. So again, you push the A button, put the left stick left, Wait a second or two. And then go down, I'll do the last one. Right stick right. And you only have to do this once. When you, you do it once and it's gonna stay, you don't have to remap it every time you play it. But you know, if there's a certain, like this game, you would really wanna do it for this cab. But there may be some fighting games or other games I'll show that you, you may wanna change that. Okay, and there are cheats. I'm not gonna enable any cheats on here, but there are cheats that you can go in to do this on, on other all kinds of games, but that's how you would get to them. So you can return to the game. And now the right joystick fires like it's supposed to. And that's that's it. That's all you have to do. So that's remapping uh, Robotron, which I'm not great at, but that's how you remap it. Okay. So I'm going to back out, and I'm going to find another game to do that too. All right, so this is uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Ultimate 3. And with this game, you had six buttons. They weren't kind of, this is a Street Fighter layout, right? So they were, you had six buttons, you had a block and a run button. And that's fine. You had the, I think on the, um, on the Xbox controller, one of the triggers is block and one is run. I think the, the one on the left is block. I'm just gonna test that just to verify it. But, and then, but if you've got an arcade set up like this, you don't have, let me put the coins in. You have an ar arcade set up like this. You're gonna you're gonna want to program one of these buttons or remap them, and I'll show you how to do that. All right. So we'll start this. All right. So it is um, punches. 
kicks hollow, and then the left is block, right, and then the, the left trigger is to block, and then the right trigger, and then move is run. Yeah. Right. So I want to remap it to where uh, the, the white button is going to be to block, and the black button will be run. So that'll the white button is going to be the left trigger to block. All right. So let me. these back in. I'm going to need to do that for player one and player two. So this is in the port four. All right, and it's the coin button or the back button and the white button at the same time to go to remap the game. And then the left trigger is the block. So I want to go down to where the left trigger, where it says J1 left trigger. So I'll hit the a button and then I'll hit that. So I want that to be for player one block. And then player one right trigger. All right, so I'm gonna go down to that. Player one right trigger. Player one, J1 right trigger. I'm gonna make that the, that's the run button, right? So I'll hit the A and then I'll hit that. Okay, I'm going to go back and do the same thing for player two. So player two, left trigger, all right, that's going to be the block. So I'm going to hit the A button and then I'll hit the input, what I want it to be, which is the white. Then I'll go down to player two, right trigger, and that'll be the run. And that's it. They should be programmed that way now. They should be fine. So I'm going to return to the menu. There are cheats on a lot of these games, but I'm not going to go into that. But that's how you access the cheat menu, and you can play around with it. So I'll go return to the game. Oh. Hit the start button to join. I just want to make sure that the block and the run are right. And that's how you remap it. Let's see here. So that's blocked now. Now that white button is blocked and there's your run. So you can punch high, low, kind of intuitive, like high, low, and then the kick high, kick low, block, and run. And that's it. You don't have to do it again. You just do it the once and then the back and the start button to get out. So there's remapping two games, two totally different games you want to remap it. Um, I would recommend getting a controller, plug it in, see how the game is mapped on your controller because it could be the triggers or, the, or whatever button it is. And then you can map it however you want. That's a personal preference. It's what maybe feels natural to you when you're playing it. And that's how you do it. I uh, hope this is helpful. That's it.